So I think virtual reality is uh, a really important emerging uh, area of technology. But currently we're just using our eyes and our ears as the basis for those experiences. And we've completely sort of overlooked in a sense uh, the body's largest organ. The skin as an interface into a virtual uh, computer-driven uh, reality is, is much more challenging than um, one that's based on audio or video. So we've been working on a, a thin, flexible, soft sheet uh, that can interface directly with the surface of the skin and deliver very fine resolution spatio-temporal patterns of force to the surface of the skin, a virtual sense of touch. So skin is a fascinating, you know, biological system in a sense. It's bristling with sensors uh, of various types. Uh, the skin forms the basis of all our physical interactions with the outside world. Uh, and I think it really establishes the deepest, most emotional types of contacts between uh, individuals. And so I think it's ra a rather untapped interface uh, when you think about VR, uh, AR technologies. And I think it'll define kind of the frontier of opportunities in, in the continued development of those kinds of technologies. So it really forces you to kind of reformulate electronics to be more biocompatible or skin compatible. So the uh, key unique features of the technology are that sort of soft skin compatible form factor, uh, the very tiny miniaturized force actuator that, we, uh, that we've been able to develop, a co corresponding set of wireless electronics that allow these actuators to be programmed in real time with a very fast uh, response uh, speed, um, and a wireless way to deliver power to the device. Go to town. Oh my gosh. That's really cool. It's an interesting sensation, uh, but with appropriate control of amplitude and frequency, we can reproduce a, a feeling that's very similar to a natural uh, human touch. I think the ultimate would be kind of a full body suit that would exist in the form of a very thin spandex-like -like stretchable fabric. We currently have devices that uh, embed up to 32 of these individual uh, force transducers or these force uh, actuators. Uh, the density of sensory receptors in the skin is much higher than that. So what we would like to do over time is to scale the system. We're pretty uh, excited about this new platform. I think this will represent a very you know, powerful starting point for the continued development of this kind of skin interface that I think will be important for social interactions via, via computer systems. Uh, we think that they're going to be powerful in clinical medicine for guiding uh, sort of uh, refined rehabilitation protocols in the context of stroke survivors and amputees uh, and others. And then for gaming and entertainment, I think there are lots of really exciting uh, possibilities in that space uh, as well. So, so it's really material science driving new technology, uh, spawning a whole array, uh, array of applications that we think are, uh, are going to be really exciting.